Hi guys, it's your girl Renee Carlson. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's video. While you're here, you might want to go check out last week's video because it's a huge giveaway. A lot of the stuff behind me here is going to be for two of you guys. So make sure to check that video out. And tonight we are going to be going through just some of my favorite things right now. I didn't want to wait until the end of the month and I just had some random ass stuff along with a few brand new beauty items that I just think, why wait? Better get them now. So <laughs> if you want to see what I recommend for you to basically stop what you're doing, it's super important and you need it in your life, then just keep watching. Did you see that blush? Do you see it? <laughs> Wait for it. It's coming. It's coming up right now. This, this just looks so strange to be saying, yeah, I want to mention this, but look at the detail in this. My mom got this for me in the dollar section of Target, y'all. I believe it. this was $3, but still, I mean, how freaking sexy and cute is that at the same time? and affordable so yeah love this target recently check it out and right next to target where i live which i'm not gonna tell you exactly where i live there is a bath and body works and pumpkin like that warm pumpkin, vanilla, cinnamon smell, that fall scent. I actually love that year round in my house. Ask my mom, my, the one that wants pumpkin candles when it's the middle of summer or it's June or something. Nope, I want pumpkin. But this is white pumpkin and look at just how gorgeous that packaging is. Love, love, love it. It just leaves this really fresh kind of fall scent in your home. So really love the white pumpkin scent. And then they have so many of these beautiful and cute uh, wallflower holders. So I got this one because I have these leaves downstairs. Probably you've seen it on my Instagram stories, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? You should stop or pause and go follow me on Instagram because that's where I talk to you guys a lot. That's where I come up with ideas and you can just be part of our family. So it's Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave a link below. But anyways, onward and forward. Love, love, love the leaves design. So I had to mention that. I know, kind of random, but got this at Target. Betty Crocker Pumpkin Spice Cookie Mix. This and some cream cheese frosting and just, you're welcome, basically. <laughs> That's all you really need in your life. But yeah, these are really good. They're not super pumpkin-y, pumpkin-y. I always get a lot of compliments on Instagram about my eyelashes and so they are worth mentioning again. I've brought them up before, but um, they are having a pretty large sale. I noticed I'm not 
an affiliate or anything like that. I purchase them with my own money, but um, when they have their sales, they're incredibly reasonable prices for these faux mink lashes. So I have Innocent Tease and Fairy Tale, and these are by Lash Dreams. So I'll leave all the information below, but I'm actually wearing the style Fairy Tale. And I know it's kind of hard to see. And by the way, I will have makeup details on my Instagram page of this look and everything that I'm wearing and everything that you could ever want to know about me is on there on Instagram. So yeah, definitely recommend these lashes. These are pretty dramatic style, but that's just my thing. I have hooded eyes and I feel like the natural lashes just kind of go up and get swallowed up by my crease and you can't even see them. So I have to kind of go big or go home, but I just have to go big. Right when I got it, I have to recommend it to you guys today. I am wearing it right now, the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Mini Obsession Palettes. I love these. The other ones just didn't really appeal to me as much, but when I saw these shades, I knew I had to have it. And I used it, and I'm here to tell you guys that out of all the more recent ones, including the pastel ones, this khaki obsessions, go get it. You need it right away right now. Love, love, love the formula. So pigmented and buildable and creamy and not a whole lot of fallout. I just really, really love them. And I'm going to move on. NARS, the Climax Extreme. This is actually a lot bigger than <laughs> you would think. That's what she said. But look at that thing. Just crazy. This mascara actually did an amazing job, even though I have falsies on, to coat every lash and kind of make them curl a little bit, which made putting falsies on top a little bit easier. So I am loving this mascara for that reason. And I needed to mention the Rare Beauty Selena Gomez. This is kind of a shocking color at first. Uh, grateful it is what I'm wearing right now. But as soon as you blend it out, for a small moment in time, you look like a clown. But don't worry. You just keep, you just throw it. You just keep blending and then I layered another uh, powder, more pressed powder and just kind of buffed it a little bit and buffed it up when I blended it out a lot. It left a really nice kind of flushed from within look. So really love this. It's a bit shocking. It does, it definitely look red. So be prepared for that. Blended out. Still just bam, pigment. The Hope in a Jar Peeling Mousse. This stuff um, kind of reminds me of the Peter Thomas Roth, the one that beaded up your skin and exfoliated it off whatever that peel was, this is very similar to that. You just use it on clean, dry skin and it just kind of like removes a layer of skin. So I really, really, really love this. 
as soon as I put it on and started to use it, I thought, okay, I'm ordering it. So I did. So I wanted to mention it to you guys, especially going into a new season. Ulta was having a sale on Studio Fix. I'm not sure if Mac was as well, but I noticed Ulta was. So I picked up a lighter shade for fall, winter, but the Studio Fix foundation powder is just, there is, I mean, there's better powders, I dare to say, on the market, but something always draws me back to this one. And then I have the shade C. 30, which is a very olive toned. It's more warm with neutral to olive undertones. And I love it. So this is more of my natural color. I am wearing it today along with the Shiseido foundation. I'm still loving the hell out of that foundation. Like it's just kind of this weird ass time but it's still important to take time for yourself. And I have been loving doing a little bit of reading. So if you guys have any books that you recommend, then definitely let me know, leave them in a comment. So it is Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. So definitely recommend this to anyone doesn't matter, boy, girl, any age. Oh, my little uh, pumpkin guys, I believe, are from Target, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. I have no idea where my hat is from. These earrings are from Fashion Nova. Make sure to check out my last video, because it's a giveaway. By the way, how cute are these? These are from For Her Vanity. I'll leave her um, Instagram below, but she just sent me a few of these items of this coffin palette. So let me move my black plant there. There you can see it a lot better now. And then the Glam Skull Organizer up there. I have lip glosses in it, you can't tell, but they're in there and they're organized. And that is all I have to tell you. I hope you have a wonderful evening or day or night or whatever it is. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, by the way, so I started this thing. It's called a schedule. <laughs> new videos every Friday from me. So make sure to subscribe and like this video and let me know what you're loving right now. I would love to know. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you're doing well and staying healthy and I love you so much. Thank you for your support and happy almost fall. Bye. I can't believe I wore the hat the whole time. <laughs>